And indeed, a very, very happy 2011 to you, boys and girls. It's our first show of uh, 2011. Welcome along. My name's Chris Ridden. This is United Kingdom Talk here on United Kingdom Radio. A slightly smaller... Uh, United Kingdom Radio to go into 2011. I'll tell you a little bit about that later on. Uh, we've already got some very, very nice messages uh, coming in. Uh, I'll do them in the order that they came in. Anthony. Hello, Anthony, who's very cold. Minus 96 degrees centigrade. Oh, you are having a laugh. Where is it? Minus 96 degrees. Ice station. Ice shelf zebra. I've heard of that. Ice station zebra. Is that a film? Let me have a quick look. Is that a film, Ice Station Zebra? Hang on. Ice Station... I'm sure that's a film. Ice... Sh yes, it is. 90 oh, something's dropped off. Hang on. No, don't worry. It wasn't that. <laughs> Ice... Ice Station Zebra. Yes, I remember that. 1968. It was a film, wasn't it? Um... Uh, he says, uh, Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year to you as well, Anthony, our, our latest friend here on the station. Good morning to uh, Vicky Gannon, or good afternoon. Well, it's morning for you, isn't it? Hello, Vicky Gannon, who says, It's very bright. Did you add extra lights or is it my computer? Ah, it was very bright. I've turned it down. Yes, there, I've put... I see what's happened. I've got an extra light on in the studio today. So I turned down that. I sort of looked over at the monitor there and suddenly and quickly turned it down. Sorry about that. Was Did you need sunglasses to watch? It's all the goodness. It's not actually the lights, Vicky. It's the goodness coming out. I am such a good person that when you look at me, it's like a bright light, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> there is actually a halo above my head as well, but it's so high above my head that I ca you can't actually see it. You know, it, it's out of camera shot. OK, uh, those of you that are listening to the show, you can choose to uh, listen or watch this show. Uh, just go to unitedkingdomradio.co.uk on Tuesday and Thursday mornings at 11 o'clock UK time and Saturday afternoons at 3 o'clock UK time. Uh, and you can choose to listen or watch live then. If you ever want to watch a recording of the show, maybe you can't join us live. Doesn't matter. You can join us at uh, the recording of the show. You can find the recordings for this particular show at United unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk right unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk um yes vicky so that was it there is there is actually an extra light on and it's the goodness that is pouring out of me today vicky goodness is pouring out of me onto you i bought a new set of glasses by the way um only reading glasses because i'm finding um, you know the really small print like you get on cans and things in supermarkets i can't blame and see it I absolutely, it's just like a black blur to me. And I've bought these Foster Grant glasses from Sainsbury's for just £10, uh, which are quite good. Now, I, I, I've just, I think they're quite, I think I quite like myself with these glasses on. The only thing is they are reading glasses. So, um, for example, there's a camera in front of me. And look, when I put them on and look at the camera, the camera looks blurred because it's too far away. But if I pick something up, now what have I got here with small writing on it? Now, let me have a look. Oh. <laughs> I've got one of my sister's birth Christmas presents with me. This has got small writing on it. I don't know if I should show you what it is. I mentioned to my sister that I had corns on my feet. And she's bought me this ped egg thing. Okay? It's, it's called ped egg. <laughs> and in this... In this, I'm just going to put on my reading glasses now. Foster Grant reading glasses from Sainsbury's. £10, these were rather marvellous. And now that I look at this, thing, I can see all the writing clearly. Isn't it marvellous? Oh, only for £10. Anyway, this ped egg... Sorry, I just banged the microphone. This ped egg thing, it's basically... It's this. There's always some in there now. I've, I have been using this. I've got a couple of corns on my feet. And the idea with this thing is it's almost like a cheese grater. And you scrape it along the side of your feet and it removes the dead skin. And inside the egg section, you remove the top and there are lots of little bits of dried skin. How wonderful is that? I mean, if you don't like someone you <laughs> and you invite them round to dinner or you go, oh, there's bits of skin everywhere. Just a minute. <sighs> oh, God, blimey, that's gone in my face, that has. I've got bits of... <laughs> I've got bits of foot skin now in my eye. Oh, 
Never mind. If you don't like someone, you can take them out from me. Oh, I've dro- hang on, I've dropped my ped eggs. Just a moment. Ped egg. Did I, did I actually show you these the other day? Did I actually talk about these the other day? I can't remember, but it was still in the studio. Now, also, coming in... Oh, I was just saying, yes, if you don't like someone... You could take them out for dinner or something like that and, um, you know, drop it, drop it into the cheese, the grated cheese. They'll never know. They will never know. And then you can sit there while they're eating their pizza or something like that, you know, quite pleased with the fact that someone you dislike is now eating bits of you. Eh? You actually get two ped eggs with the, um, <laughs> with the kit. And this other thing, which I'm not quite sure what this is, it's like a, an electrical thing. OK, and it's got various different attachments. I thought it was dentistry at first, but there's all these different attachments to this thing. It, look, it looks rather vile, actually. I'm a bit concerned about you. And you're supposed to put... I think it needs a battery in. Oh, no, let me have a look. Oh, yeah, it needs a ba- needs one. I haven't got any here, have I? PP3 batteries. Was it um, AA batteries? Um, I haven't really read all of it yet. I, th- I think that's for nails. I-, I tend not to bother with nails. You just cut them and that's it. I mean, people spend a fortune it- do they- doing nails. Oh, I've dropped my ped eggs again. Just a minute. There we are. People spend a fortune on their nails, don't they? You know all these nail places that you've got now? Now, now pace. Yeah, you know. Um, why is it? Is there some reason that all these nail shops are run by Chinese Asian people? Have you noticed that? You go in there, they've all got masks on. I mean, I don't know what these people have got here, but they've all got masks on. I reckon they're all carrying some sort of swine flu virus. That's what it is. That's why they've got the masks on. Oh, probably, actually, the masks to protect them from you, you dirty people, isn't it? I mean, if you were working doing someone's nails all the time, you don't want some tch, sneezing and breathing in your face. And besides, I mean, some people have got such bad breath, haven't they? <gasps> oh, don't you hate that? That's the one thing um, I hate about my job is when people come up, because I'm a DJ, I do DJing and I do karaoke. The one thing I hate about... <laughs> job is when people come up for a request i've mentioned this before i know um and they've got bad breath and they come and stand right in your face and a whoosh oh god make me feel physically sick that does it's awful bad breath but i won't have i don't have bad breath so please please if you're gonna come and ask me for a record make sure you brush your teeth first i mean it doesn't hurt to go into I'm dropping everything today. It doesn't help to go into the toilet and brush your teeth before you come up and ask for a request, does it? I mean, come on, be honest. It's not hard. And the other thing people do, not many people floss. Very important to floss your teeth because that smell is hiding around the back of those teeth, you know. You may get it off the front of the teeth and the back of your teeth with your brush, but that smell hides in between your teeth. You must do flossing as well, okay? Very, very important to do flossing. Well, we better go back to these messages. There are quite a few messages coming in. Uh, Vicky says, I thought that was a mirror ball. Guess what halos look like? Well, there is a mirror ball. No, you're quite right, Vicky. There is a mirror ball turning behind me. The Christmas trees have gone. Thank God for that. I mean, I'll be honest with you. There were two Christmas trees behind me. They were a bit of a very, very last minute thing, like sort of 10 minutes. And they kept getting in the way. Where, where are this studio? Not the other one I was in was a lot bigger. But this little studio here, I haven't got so much space. There's literally about... Let me have a look behind me. There's about a metre between the back of me and the back of the wall. So you've only got to put a Christmas tree in every time you move. The blooming thing was getting knocked over. So I'm, I'm quite, I couldn't wait to get rid of them out of here, to be honest. I'm sorry to be such a miserable git. Um, I do have on, on my wall behind me today, though, uh, one, of the t- one of the tea towels, uh, as sent in to me by the lovely Kath in Wales... And I put that one up quickly because it is a picture of two um, sheep with deer antlers on, like a Christmas-type tea towel. And I wanted to get that in before the Christmas period is over. So thank you very much, for Kath, for that one. OK. Um, lovely. So there we are. That, that, the bright light was, in fact, the goodness that was pouring out of me. Um, Anthony says, Chris, what microphone do you use? Oh, it's a, it's a, um, oh, uh, Anthony is well into the technical things. I'll, I'll just answer you. We don't do too much technical chat on here because people don't understand it. Only, only geeks like you, Anthony. 
and me, to be honest. Only the two of us. Us geeks. It is a Bay Ring, Bay Ringer B2 Pro. And it's about... It's about seven years old. Works fantastically. I've actually got another one over there uh, if I ever have people in for interviews. But no one wants to talk. No one wants to come and talk to me. No one wants me. I'm unwanted and unloved by everyone. It's true. Nobody, they all hate me. The entire world. Why is the whole world against me? That's the question. You do think that. So I have been thinking that this morning, to be honest. The entire world is against me. Mind you, it wasn't too bad a start to 2011. I did get a snog last night. I got a snog off someone and it's been like, you know, always have a little bit of a cuddle and whatever. Right, and it's been going on for years, absolutely years, me and this other person. I'm not even going to mention who they are. It's been going on for years. Got a little bit of a snog last night while I was at work. It's all right, I didn't get caught by the manager because he doesn't like goings on, going on. And it was just after midnight. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if that is things to come. Do you know what I mean? Because of that one person just gone midnight, you know, all the old, the old uh, superstitions and all that. Does that mean I'm going to be with that person? That's the question. Does anyone know the answer to that? There's an email address to the show. Whether you're watching live or a recording, you can join in by email. Uh, email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. .co.uk. If you are watching or listening to the show live, you can also join in by Skype. You can either send a message or indeed call in. Now, I won't open the Skype call in thing yet uh, because there's a few messages that I want to get through before we do before we come to the calls. Because uh, once we get a call and I do tend to rabbit onto someone for hours on end. You know, we really do. All right, so I'll open the Skype uh, a little bit later. But for now, emails, please. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Um, got to say hello to Mark. Good morning, Mark. Now, we're Mark. Oh, hello, Mark. It's Mark, one of our wonderful karaoke singers from Belushi's in Borough High Street, just before London Bridge on the south side. Hello, Mark. He does the most wonderful um, Blues Brothers. Everybody, da -da -da, everybody. You know that one? He comes and does that. I think this is the first time you're with us live, isn't it, today, Mark? So uh, welcome along, sir. Oh, yeah, we like that one. We're... And he has all the kit as well. He's got the hat, the jacket, the tie. Fantastic. And I've got to say to you, I do two karaoke nights. Um, out of the two of them, the one at Borough High Street is, is busier. Uh, they're both good nights. I do one in Borough High Street on Wednesday nights between 10pm and 2am and the other karaoke I do is on Monday nights it's a little bit more relaxed there a little bit quieter uh, Monday nights at the Hammersmith Belushes that's on Monday nights between 9 and 1 unless there's football on which tends to push us back an hour I say so, so then it's 10 till 1 so uh, nice to see you with us today Mark and Happy New Year sir Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Who else have we got here? Uh, good morning to Matt! Matt Joplin! Good morning, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Happy New Year to you. I hope you were working hard last night. Let me see, where else are we going to? Um, I'll do them as we come in today. Uh, oh, well, it's, uh, it's Blakey! Hello to Blakey. Actually, I'm not sure if you're there or not. Uh, Blakey, but he sends us a message on the Facebook. Happy New Year to Blakey! Blakey! Also is someone who comes to the Barra, um, the London Bridge karaoke on Wednesday nights. Uh, and he is known as a real pain in the bum there. Every moment that's free, he jumps onto that stage and he brings his video camera with him. Right. But all he videos really is himself. And I, I, I can't work it out. It, it is, I thought I was mad until I met Blakey. I have a feeling if we went out one night, you know, um, myself, Blakey, uh, possibly Mark, um, John, what, what's happened to John? Young John. John, he, he was, he used to come every Wednesday. Oh, until he got a girlfriend. Oh, that's it. Blew all his mates out the window. Why do they do that? It's always, here, come crawling back if it all goes terribly wrong. And we will have to say, oh, come on, mate. Poor old John. He's got, I think he's got a girlfriend at the moment. So he's disappeared. Disappeared in a puff of smoke, haven't you, eh? Just like I do every night. Happy birthday um, to uh, Blakey. Uh, 
<laughs> Hello to Paul Edwards. Paul Edwards will be with you uh, live tomorrow night. That's Sunday night between ooh, 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. UK time on unitedkingdomradio.co.uk. If you like a show that's nice and easy, full of information, then that's the one for you. The Paul Edwards show live here on United Kingdom Radio. Dot co dot uk on Sunday nights between 7 p.m. and uh, 9 p.m. Okay, um, right. Anthony said, "Some who's vlogging? Someone is vlogging. I don't, I'm not quite sure what that is. Vlogging. What is vlogging? I don't know what that is. Tell me what that is, Anthony. Uh, hello to uh, Stephen Parker. Good morning to Stephen, aka Atticus, who is lending us his ears today." He's lending us his ears. I'm not quite sure how far he wants to go with that. Maybe you pop them in the post and put them through the letterbox with a return letter because he did say lend. He's not giving us his ears. He's lending us his ears. So send them through, Stephen, and I'll have a little pinch of your... I do like pinching people's ears. Does anyone else like doing... I think I've got an ear fetish. I used to do it as a little boy. I used to drive my sister mad, pinching people's ears all the time. Eh? Anyone do that, ear pinching? Hello to Gavin. Uh, Gavin wishes everyone a Merry Christmas. Uh, hello, Gavin. And he says, how is your friend Ron? Ron is completely recovered. Completely recovered. Um, he really did think he was going to die. Now, when, when was that? It was just, it was the Wednesday before Christmas, wasn't it? Oh, what a time we've had, dear. What a time that was. And we really thought, he, no, he thought... Okay, I thought it was. It was. I thought it was looking a bit dicey as well. I have a feeling if he hadn't gone to the hospital, it it could have been very, very serious. I I actually do believe that, but I haven't told him now. He probably won't listen to this anyway. He rarely listens to a show unless I tell him that I've mentioned him. Then he, so I won't tell him that I've mentioned him. But um, he thought he was re he was going to die. I, I thought it was quite serious. I didn't, I didn't think he was going to die, but I thought it was quite serious. And it was very, very nasty, that flu virus he had. He had uh, complications on it, some bacterial infection. But 36 hours of intravenous uh, antibiotics, as I said in the last show, bang, he was out of it. He had a cough for about a week or so, but um, that's fine. And there are a lot of people picking up this flu virus and colds. Um, <clears throat> well, no, no, not colds. Colds are not serious. They come and they go. They really, really kill anyone. But flu is very, very serious. And there's a lot of people out there who are entitled to a flu injection. I call it an injection. They call it a jab, don't they? A flu jab. A lot of people call it a flu jab. That's how it's known. Um, I get one every single year. The flu passes me by. People around me drop like flies. It doesn't touch me. I might get a bit of a cold. I think last week, to be honest, I had a little bit of a cold. But that was it. That's as far as it goes. Please, please, if you've got anything that's wrong with you, you know, um, asthma, heart trouble, lung problem, any immune thing, anything like HIV, anything like that, Go and have your flu injection because it's free. I've got asthma, so I get mine free. Even if you can't get it for free, I believe you can ask the doctor for it. But if he, I don't know if he says no or not. You can go to Boots, some branches of Boots, some branches of Asda, the supermarkets, and you can pay for it. I think it's about £8. It's worth every penny. <clears throat> It really is worth every penny. Please, please go and get that flu, flu injection. You don't want to end up in hospital like my best mate. You really don't. But he's a lot better now. And he's also very pleased with his Christmas present that I purchased him. I won't tell you what it was, um, but he's very pleased with it. So, I, I you know, I, I like to see... I like to see people's faces when, when you give a gift... I want to make them happy. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be him, uh, my sister's children or my sister. I like to see their faces wh wh when they're really pleased with something you've got. You know what I mean? Gives me an enormous, de uh, uh, an enormous amount of pleasure to, to make someone smile in, in whatever I do, whether it's playing the organ at church, um, saying some rude joke somewhere, um, DJing or doing karaoke, to see people leave 
with a smile on their face. That's what does it for me. Not the money that comes into me hand at the end of the night. I do okay. I'll never be rich, but I'll do okay. Right? I do better than most, probably. Okay? But I won't ever be rich or anything like that. But it's not about that. It's about the smiles that you see on people's faces. There are certain venues where you don't see them over the years. You know, not necessarily now, but maybe. <laughs> there are certain venues over the years that people haven't smiled and you think, oh, I'm not sure this isn't working. And you have to go. You have to leave and that's it. You have to leave. Um, but to, to actually see someone's face smile because of something you're doing. It's, it's just wonderful. It really is. And indeed, you send those smiles in sometimes uh, with your Skype messages. I don't actually need to see your face or your emails. And believe me, that's that's all it needs. All it needs is the occasional email from someone. Don't don't start writing in because <laughs> don't write in now cause, just because I've been asking for it. But when you get these emails in from people, thank you for the show. Wow. I mean, you, you just don't know what that does, not just to me as a presenter, but the other people who are here on uh, United Kingdom Radio. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a few less of us now, I'm afraid, boys and girls. There is a few less of us now. Uh, some people are taking breaks. Some people have gone um, for whatever reason. And I thank those people for coming to do a show on uh, our little station. But we're left at the moment uh, with Paul. I'll, I'll, uh, actually, I'll leave that till later. I'll run down the list of people and when you can hear them here on United Kingdom Radio. All right. Um, Stephen says, vlogging is a video blog most often published via YouTube. Oh, is that, that, is that what I do with this? This is what I do, is it, I suppose? Once I've recorded the show, I then upload it to YouTube. So does it become a vlog then? A video log? It's like a, like a video diary, isn't it? Does anyone keep video diaries? I wonder, anyone watching or listening to the show today, either an audio or a video diary, do you keep one of those? Do you? Do you turn on your sort of webcam every day? If you do, tell us that you do. I'd like to hear about that. Uh, my email address, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Um, <laughs> Anthony says, smile. Yes, you could say so. Keep smiling, Anthony. Keep smiling, boy. Hello to Gary Davidson. Hello, Gary. Sorry, mate. I'm, I'm, uh, you've been, you sent this half an hour ago. I know you did. Uh, who says, happy Christmas. New year to you, Chris. Happy new year to you, Chris. Hope you have a fantastic 2011. Yeah, I've, I've got my fingers crossed. I've got my fingers crossed for this year. Lots of sadness last year. Not, not, not just for, you know, People, single people, not not single people, not just for individual people, but also for the world. So many disasters. Look at those, mind you, look at those miners all got out alive. How That, I think, was the big thing for me in 2010. The, those Chilean miners getting a, I mean, what could be worse than stuck down a tiny black hole miles below the earth? <gasps> I mean, I just couldn't do it. It would drive me mad. I cannot go down potholes or, you know, a bit funny about going in caves, anything like that. Doesn't really do it for me, I'm afraid. Don't like to put my head underwater. We don't like enclosed spaces. We really don't. We really don't. Unless it's, of course, this studio. Um, hello to Million Minnesota, who reminds me about the record button that was all done earlier today. Thank you, Millie, and a happy new year to Millie. Millie, I hope you have a better year. I know you've got someone who's not well at the moment, um, but let's hope that the rest of the year is better for you, my darling. OK? Let's have a look. Righty-ho. Um, an email here from uh, young Simon. Hello, Simon, who actually sent this in um, just before Christmas. And I must have missed this one out. And um, Simon says, Hi, Chris. I was going to say... When I was on that thought of you playing the organ at a carol service, which I did a couple of weeks ago, uh, I find historical, no offence intended, I have visions in my head of a comedy sketch involving Kenny Everett singing about brotherly love. What a radio legend he was, as well as you, of course. So do me a favour. How can I be a radio legend? Not even on FM yet, dear. Not even on FM, am I? Although I might be in Spain. I might be doing a, a little FM music and chat show in Spain. I, I've got to find the time to do it at the moment. The, the, the whole United Kingdom radio thing is taking up quite a lot of time at the moment. 
Um, Simon says, thanks for all your great entertainment in 2010. Uh, happy Christmas. Happy New Year from Simon, uh, Shania and Callum on the Isle of Wight there. So thank you to you lot. Hope your children are all right. What do you do to children? Oh, I, you, you haven't come back to me. I wanted to know what you lot got for Christmas. I don't know if you're with us live today, actually, Simon. Oh, yeah, let's have a look and see if you're there. Or you might just be, you might be with us. Simon, if you're there, do you want to call us in? And I'd like to know what your children got for Christmas. Or maybe even if they're there, perhaps they could give us a little chat as well. Are they available? I don't know. Let's, let's just send him a little message there and see if he's around. Are you around? <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, we'll see if he answers. Uh, Anthony says, um, "Get on right on London Talk Radio." What well, LBC? Oh, I don't, I mean, there's, some, there's some really good people on there. I'm not. I'm not good enough to do LBC. Absolutely not. They would know about me by now. I would have thought. They absolutely would know about me now. Um, but uh, not good enough to do that sort of thing. That's, that's, I'm obviously not what they want. Hello, Stephen. In are you in Sweden or London? I'm, I'm in London at the moment, I'm London. just outside. Actually. 206, whereabouts are you? I, I'm in uh, Rumford, actually. Oh, right Rumford? Yeah, I worked in a little place there, it's gone now. Um, oh, what was it called? It was a place called... It was called Colours, C-O... Spelt, spelt in the American way, C-O-L-O... Oh. Yeah. You know McDonald's in Rumford? I, I do, I do. Right, it was opposite McDonald's uh, in the shopping centre. I, I have a feeling it's a shoe shop now. Oh, right, yeah. yes, I, I think I've been in there. I'm, I think it was a shoe shop, yeah. Ah. Do you know what, Stephen? I'll tell you what, my Skype seems to have updated itself. Mine did as well, yeah. and it's But it's holding up this time. I don't know if they've corrected the problems. Oh, uh, isn't good. What happened last time was um, it kept crashing my... Well, the Skype kept crashing on its own. And also, I would keep getting error messages when I was looking at web pages. But it seems to be holding out this time. Mind you, I have switched off the automatic um, video thing. I wonder if that's what was causing it, maybe. Oh, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I've had problems. I've had problems. Um, oh, you have as well. Yes, yeah, so I can't. I, for some reason, uh, I can't actually record anything anymore. Okay. So can I, you I, turn, uh, can you turn your, down your microphone a little bit, mate? You're a little oh, bit right. Distorted there. Yes. And I'll turn you up a bit this end. All right. I was about to do that. How is that? I'm actually. Yeah, using that's better. That's it. Microphone. Lovely, lovely, mate. <laughs> you okay? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. I um, I was very interested about you um, talking about the uh, superstition thing regarding uh, New Year and everything. Yeah, there's there's lots of them. You know, walk under a ladder. Um, don't pick up scissors from the floor. And I'm wondering, you know, if you uh, the first person that you kiss in the New Year, will will you be with that person? I wonder. Well, have you I got think, your cards um, with actually, you? Actually, um, so, 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 um, sociologically, people often um, uh, get rid of their other half around uh, New Year. But more often than not, on New Year's Day, actually. Okay. So it, it's it's kind of the other way around. But if if you are um, a super, in terms of superstitions, I think um, people um, have been said to. Um, I think I think um, <coughs> the um, sort of day before the first of March is supposed, is supposed to be a very good day. Before I, the first of March, oh, that would yeah, be Valentine's. The day before, or around around summer sol summer uh, uh, for, you know summer solstice. Uh, um, That's uh, in June, summer solstice. Oh yes, it is. Yeah, sorry, I get yeah. mixed up. <laughs> the, the, um, the one in the one in March. Well, that would be straight after Valentine's. Uh, oh no, that's the fourteenth of uh, February, isn't it? Valentine's. But, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, I, I, I've, I've just um, heard that. Mm. Um, but I was actually, actually um, I've been interested in divi divining in things with cards and so forth. Oh right, yes. I've been uh, trying to, trying to. I, I can't claim to believe in it pro pro uh, completely. But um, well, we got a few I, minutes. If you want to give us a little reading there, Stephen, have you got your I was cards? I could. I could uh, out of interest. Well, see, go on. See, yeah, yeah, see, go on. I don't mind that. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll have a go at that. Oh, oh, I can't believe this. A live reading now, boys and girls. Now, Stephen, if there's any nasty health issues, I don't want to know about them. 
Hello? Oh, he's got to get his cards. There we are. But, um, just so you know, if, any, if anything horrible would come up, I wouldn't say anything. Right, so good, 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 good. But I, I don't... <laughs> I wouldn't I mean, attach any, too any, much significance to it anyway. Any warnings are okay. Any oh, warnings. Yes, of course. But nothing that says, you're going to die tomorrow. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but, but, no, that... that, that but I'm, I'm very, very in, in, interested in these things. Yeah. Um, and I was, I was actually think, thinking the other day uh, of... of um, or well, earlier today about um anyway that's... are you shuffling cards wait, wait I am, tell us what I you're am. doing okay you're shuffling cards are you okay so let's see is this tarot is it tarot it, it is okay it is and it is and it actually says uh uh you, you have actually received received a message or had a meeting with somebody I've quite recently in the past I've done what? a meeting a meeting or, or a message from some from somebody what um, message? much younger than yourself oh well how much younger? I don't want them to um, I'll say kind of in their 20s actually oh well we want around we want around 30 otherwise they're stupid well that's that's around that's, that's, <laughs> about, that's about right well at the present this is, in, this is interesting um it's like a rest period where you you are should be or are going to be thinking about things, and there's a warning actually in the future. Um, um, being um, you are going to um, hold on to money a, a lot, but it's going to have a bad effect on people. Um, there's there's the uh, four, you have the four, I'm seeing the names of the cards. You have the four of swords, which means. Uh, respite and like a pause of doing very little that could be my holiday in a couple of weeks it, it could and then you have in the future you have the uh, four of coins reversed which is actually like the is actually um like a, mi a miserly type a um, miser <laughs> It, it, it was a bit miser, 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 if it, in rever reverse especially it, 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 my cards actually have like a Scrooge type character on them <laughs> holding a coin I can't believe it Scrooge <laughs> do you know what I gave those kids for Christmas you don't do you and I'm not telling you Scrooge well I, 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 I said um, what, what I think it might be is um, could it be Scrooge towards myself that's very lot. That's quite. Ah. Could, could be likely. Ah, now. So I think what it might be is you, you um, um, you, you won't be giving money to something, even even if it's to yourself, that could benefit you. So that probably is it. You you're going to go through a period of thinking. Oh, I'm not going to spend on this, when in fact perhaps it it would be in your best interest to. Ah, so there's a warning there. It's, Watch out for that. Warning. Yes. So, so you're saying spend, spend, spend. I'm saying yes, maybe yes, yes. So I'm going to take two more out to okay. see what else we have here. This is interesting. Again, I have another another um, card um, relating to uh, actually being alone a lot and the positive side of it. Um, the hermit. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't sound very nice, but it it is. And you, you have. Um, the uh, two of coins, which again means jug juggling finances and... I'm going to be alone? Well, I know that already. I still am. <laughs> I've been alone for years. But it says in a good way. It says that you did, it, it, it isn't... Um, it's um, that you, uh, your view of it will change, really. Oh, and, and I'm going to enjoy being alone. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Oh. You'll get something productive will come out of it. And also I have the Wheel of Fortune, which suggests that the, the, the situation will improve. It will, it will turn around. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's all in, very interesting. But the, non, well, the two of coins, I think, represent some um, projects you, you're, you're going to um, have to prioritise or two, two will take up your time and there'll be something you think you should... Uh, you know, actually, may maybe invest in, not in terms of money, in terms of uh, mentally, um, and it will make things kind of difficult, but perhaps did you, did you, you say, are going to have to learn to. Did you say mentoring? Mentally, mentally, oh, mentally, men in terms of energy, energies. Oh, right, things. yes, yes. 
And also another one, funny enough, yeah, another one I've pulled out, which is the hanged man. Which doesn't mean you're going to hang yourself. Oh my means, god, I'm going to be hanged. Um, I no, knew I shouldn't have gone actually, to an... It has, um, it has an image of a man who's, who's actually hanging upside down from a tree, but he's not tied to a rope. Because it, it means you, you, um, are, um, going to be in a situation where you're going to think an awful lot and you, you're going to come up with answers to, to a problem. But not not involving not involving other pe other people. Funnily enough, it, it it means um what will seem like a delay that things aren't working out, and it will be like that. But it's it in the end it will serve a good purpose. Okay. Yeah. It's very very interesting. That is all, I, it's all very interesting, and I, I you know Stephen, I'm one of those people with an open mind. I certainly don't think it's all poppycock. No, um, to, to, to yeah, tell you the truth, I, I, I have um, switched from thinking it is to thinking it isn't, and it's it's right. um the, the, way, the way these things work. Um, peop it, it's actually less. Um, we we have an awareness of more that is going on around us than we know of. Yes, uh, consciously, and we we. It's funny enough, as a person who's who's looking at cards and things and actually I, I somehow subconsciously I know what is in what the what's the, the card what what's cards I'm going to lay out almost and it, it kind of works like that mm. um, but um, it's, it's good it's 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 um it's good to have an open mind but some some people I, th um, I think it's fascinating I think it's all very fascinating and often you know you're told these things um, mm. as a way of um, perhaps cha you can change them you can change them. That, that's that's the, whole the thing. They are always, most often, they are things that can be. They, they are alternatives. Yeah. Um. um and um. Yeah. The, the, there are some some things that can't be changed, but usually the, the, they're alternatives. Um, yes. Alternatives. Yeah. And there isn't so much of um. This idea of being able to see into the future or or far into it, it, it's usually what's um, the person's potential. Yes. For instance, if you were to see see um, uh, you know, for instance, you, you probably um, how can I put it? Um, you can see you can see if someone is able to do things and what they are probably going to do. Right. Well, not necessarily. Um, how what they're going to be doing when they're sixty years old? Because yes. 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 But on the other hand, if someone is, you can see that someone is a complete uh, maniac and they they like joyriding, you probably are going to see that maybe they're, uh, in terms of their potentiality and the way they're running things, that there's a likelihood that something will go wrong along, along I, those lines. I really. think I'm a bit of a maniac, to be honest, Steve. Are you? Yeah. No, <laughs> how so? I'm, I'm fascinated. <laughs> Do, well, do you I have talk, manic periods? I, I talk to myself around the house. You know when I'm driving my uh, car? When I'm driving my car, where well, it's not really a car. It's a spaceship. And it travels at warp speed. And I have to talk to engineering while I'm driving along to give me more power. There's no one else in the uh, car, only me. And I do do to... Engineering, can you give us more power, please? And well, that is, that is, that's, that's actually um, kind of... Um, Having a very rich fantasy life, imagining things like that. That's, that's a form of, um, I'm really very serious, it's a form of um, mental escape and um, it's actually a very he healthy thing to do. And it's, it's not, it's, it's called ri rivery. I think, or, I think uh, it's probably a mental escape, yes, yes. I mean, I, I've, I've always sp spoken to myself uh, yeah. and I, 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 I uh, so I mean, it, it, it's it isn't a sign of ma madness, you know. Uh, really, it's a sign of stress often. Yes, yeah, I, I do get a bit stressed out quite. Old. I, get I, 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 I out. often have like Tourette syndrome. Well, I walk down. Walk oh, I have that all flat. the time. I have that all the time. You don't think I talk like this in in real life, do you? I know you don't. I have I, the I, worst I mouth. Know. Look at the conversations we've had on the phone, and you were quite taken aback, weren't you? That's, <laughs> the, that's one thing. Nah, that's one thing. I, I actually thought it was very interesting. But I, I, I mean, it's like swearing just for the sake of swearing, out of context, walking around, just swearing. <laughs> that's kind of a little bit more um, peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Stephen, listen, thanks for calling in. Um, you're taking a little break for a while, aren't you? 
I am because I, 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 right, I so you yes, just, you I, just I might I might record the podcast or something one of these days. Right, will you just come Actually, back when you're ready? But um, I quite like the idea, of perhaps of coming on. Um, you know, if you want to, perhaps I'm coming on one of my shows. Uh, I, I'm actually thinking about do, because we've had so many people suddenly kind of go. Um, we're a bit. Yes. We're really short. I'm actually thinking about doing w- another show during the week um, to kind of. We'll just put another show on the station, really. I wonder, maybe you might want to come on one of those and do your card thing for people well, to read. Really... I do. Actually, I do. On, on The idea was, actually, especially on the Tuesdays, well, not this Tuesday, probably, yeah. I, I, I use it for that. I, I use it for um, a... Uh, Kind of mystic, myst- mystical things. You yeah. know? And I kind of urge people not to ble- not to actually believe it. Actually, to yeah. find it just yeah. entertaining. I, I, yeah. But it's 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 an idea. Mm. All right. <laughs> Have a good day, Stephen. Happy New Year, mate. It's Happy New Year. Bye. And safe journey back to Sweden. There. Oh, he's gone. Oh, it does go very quickly. Thank you, Steve. Um, Anthony writes in. Um, so this is it. We're going to die. Well, not quite yet, Anthony. Not quite yet. It's like, well, you don't have to die, Anthony. Become a Catholic, then you don't die. You don't die. You go to the life, life ever after, don't you? Um, <laughs> with you in a second, Simon. Um, Anthony says, I don't believe in the paranormal. I'm more of a science person myself, uh, from the Big Bang to the multiverse. You see, I don't know about this Big Bang thing. Somebody, something has to have created us. Something has to have created us. I, I don't. I'm not sure about this whole Big Bang thing. Um, <clears throat> so Anthony says I have an open mind, but not gullible. He says we all do the escape bit. Do we? I wonder what you do to escape, Anthony. What do you do to escape? He says, how about outside broadcast videos outside? Well, I used to do that. Um, when we were doing the recorded show, it was very easy to run outside with a camera and a microphone and do the show live. Or oh, it's a lot. It's a lot more difficult. Could I have wires going out of the house and all that business? Uh, over to the other white, Simon. Hello, Simon. Uh, Chris, how are you? Oh, come closer to the microphone. You're on the other side of the room there. Hello, is that any better? A little bit, yes. Yeah, how far are you away? You want to be about, when you're on a microphone, you want to be about literally two inches to six inches away from it. Is that better? Yes. Ah, good, yes. It was on the, it was on the floor. I'm, I'm, I'm having a... Stress-free afternoon. Off on the floor? Free. God's sake, where's the children? They're, they're, they're close by. They're, they're actually funny, funny enough, they're playing with one of their Christmas presents. Oh, lovely. We want to know, first of all, um... Oh, the girl. Don't tell me. Uh, girl. Um... Country music. No? No uh, help. Shania. Hello? Yeah. Sel- Selena? Shania. So, how do you say it? Shania. Shania, Shania. Hello, Shania. Hi. All right. Come closer, darling. Come a bit closer. Come come and sit next to me. There we are. Yeah, she's nearly on your knee now, I think. That's it. OK. On knee, orange glass in the hand, bag of sweets in the other. Tell Chris what you've got for Christmas. A camera. Oh, what one did you get? There's a Kodak one, wasn't it? It's, uh, Is that well, a digital... Did Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, something's gone terribly wrong. Just a second. Sorry, oh, we've, we've lost the um, the vision on the blooming recording thing. I know what I haven't done. Silly old Chris. I've just made a mistake. One second. Uh, one scene. Yeah. I've just got to delete something and we'll be back with you. Sorry, no, no vision at the moment. Those of you watching the recording, let's just get rid of that. And get rid of that. And then we go back on. It's a different camera I used to do the recording. And what's happened, it, it, it records onto a card, Simon. And oh, yeah. It fills up. You don't get two hours on it. So if I forget to um, delete... Oh, well, that's better. And we're away again. If I forget to delete the show before, before I start recording again, I um, then the card fills up. OK, we're back. Right, Shania, what camera you got? Uh, she's looking at me blank. She got a, a lot like, of Kodak digital one. Digital, and so you plug that into the um, uh, into the computer, yeah. Yeah, it's got all these things that you can um, share the the photos easier with Lovely. Facebook and yes. YouTube and whatever. So does it upload uh, directly to the YouTube as well? Does it? Yeah, it does. Lovely. Yeah. 
Yeah, Lovely. Like well, let's see some photographs. Take some photographs. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll have to send them. Yeah. Is that it? Was that your big present and that's it or what? I got a coat. Pardon? A coat. A what? A coat. A, a coat, coat that you wear. Okay, a coat, <laughs> yes. What sort of coat? Has he got fur around the collar? Is it like a parka? Cat's tail around the collar? Oh, she finds a oh, t- typical teenage girl. She finds that hysterical for the moment. She's collapsed on the floor in a heat laughing. <laughs> <laughs> got, got a strange sense of humour, but then that's a teenage girl <laughs> for you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not too many sweets, I hope. Well, perhaps it is too many. Perhaps she's high on E-numbers. That might be what it oh, is. Oh, dreadful, those additives. They make you very ill, I'm sure. What about what Callum? Is he there as well? Yeah, can you come a bit closer, Callum? Yeah. Come closer, come closer and listen. What did you get then, Cal? Uh, I got a coat. Uh, my main present was a new phone, like a mobile. Oh, yeah, what one did you get? Uh, an LG. Oh, let me have a look at that. On the... Can you tell me what make it it? Uh, what model? A cookie. Pardon? A cookie. Like a digester, but that's been a cookie. Oh, that's I've what... heard of that. Oh, yeah, that's come up. Black. I hope you didn't get a pink one. No. Black, <laughs> yes? Yeah, black. You got the black cookie. Let me see what that is. LG cookie. KP500. Oh, yeah, very cool. nice, yes. Yeah. So you've got... It's, it's a bit like an iPhone, isn't it? Can you move those different icons around on the screen? Yeah. Lovely. Oh, I bet you're yeah, pleased he, with that. Yeah, he keeps updating his profile on Facebook now and whatever, so, yeah, he was really pleased with that. Yeah, you've got to keep doing that. Always keep a fresh picture there or people get bored with it. Yeah. I mean, that's what I've been doing, Callum, recently, is making myself look older so that every time you look, there's a different me to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, he's the spice of life, they say, don't <laughs> I think so. Did you get, um, and what did your mum and dad uh, get there? Uh, well, my dad got socks, some smellies, <laughs> a wallet, um, we'll have to do it. Um, yeah, yeah. What, you, what you have to do? Oh, yeah, I've, got, I've got a Catherine Jenkins CD, lovely girl. Oh, yes. What, what's on the CD? Did you see her on Doctor Who? I did, yeah, yeah. Now, I, thought, what, I thought, she, thought she was heavenly in that floating white dress. I was I was on a different planet for I an hour. I expect you were. Wait, what did you think of that um, Doctor Who? I thought it was very good. I must I must say, I must say I'm biased, though, because I think anything with Catherine Jenkins in, I think would be good. Anyway. But I thought it was a really good uh, story. I thought it was a really good programme. I yeah. thought it was a, a good take on the... Uh, ch- um, well, it's Joel's Dickens, On the Christmas it? Carol. But do you not find with this new writer, Stephen Moffat... Now, I, I just didn't get it, get it. I watched the first one, I just did not get it at all. I watched it a second time and I got it. With this new Doctor Who writer, you have to sit there and pay full attention to what's going on on the telly. Otherwise, you lose the plot. Yeah, I, I got it sort of first time round. I must admit, I, I ended up... Um, I was down the dreaded in-laws on Christmas Day. Boom. <laughs> oh, dear me, you loved it. You loved it, you liar. So, so instead of watching uh, Doctor Who, I had to watch Emmerdale, which yeah. is fair enough, because it was their house, it wasn't mine. Oh, well, so I ended enough. up getting up on Boxing Day and downloaded Doctor Who on the uh, iPlay, because you the... download it to your computer. IPlay, not only do you get a lot higher quality, you haven't got any hassle and aggravation if you lose connection, because it's yeah. already there, isn't it? Well, seven days, anyway. I've got the iPlay on my... I've got a Wii downstairs, which, you know, I bought this last year, and it hasn't been used. It you got, got used twice. And now I'm playing it now. <laughs> I, I only use it now for the blooming iPlayer. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I really enjoyed that. So I got up fairly early Boxing Day when it was still pretty uh, dark, downloaded that, and I lost myself in the semi-darkness as it was only half past seven. And I really tuned into it. I, re- I really liked it. I think the Doctor Who's getting better and better. But then one man's meat's another man's poison, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 I haven't enjoyed the new writing as, as much as the old. It's nothing to do with the Doctor or anything like that. It's the writing. And I've, I've got very, very confused with it, um, uh, the last series. Uh, but I, I, I now prefer Merlin. I, I love Merlin, and he's coming oh, back. Yeah, 
I, I agreed what what you said before Chris was about the new Harry Potter film. I got oh. um, I went to see that with my daughter, and I couldn't really wasn't so much that I couldn't it get was it. Brilliant. Well, yeah, as you say, she and I enjoyed it, but I didn't think it wasn't so much I couldn't get into no. the story. Didn't I get just it. don't think there was much of a story there. Couldn't was it? follow it. No, there was no story. There was no story. It was awful. I tell you what, you might like. I don't know if you've got a bit of spare cash to take them out. Those two, um, but I went to see uh, the latest Narnia film in 3D last week. Oh, yeah. Um, can't remember what it was called now. Narnia. Um, well, wh whatever. You know Narnia? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got thing in the name of it, but I've seen it trailed you right. know, on the telly. And I went to see that last week in 3D with my, my best mate, and that's good. It's really oh, good. You right. know, you've got the lion and all that. Oh, that beautiful lion. Oh, mm. it's beautiful with the mane and all that. And that that's good. There was quite a lot of children in there which uh, seemed to enjoy it. Oh, right. Switching subject somewhat, but what I remember, did um, your carol service ever come off or was it cancelled? No, we did it. We did, did it. it? Even, if you, you obviously weren't with us last Thursday, were you? No, I wasn't. I oh, well, you that's see, that's, that's, you know, work, you, right? you have what? to remember. You've got to remember, Simon, if you miss a show, it's like missing an episode of Coronation Street. You know, you miss out on an awful lot. Indeed. You missed it. And I did play a little bit of my organ playing last week. I'm sure you were brilliant. No, I, no I'm, I'm not brilliant, actually. I'm not really that good. I mean, I, I, I managed to hit the, mo the right notes most of the time. Look, I've got a little bit here. Let me play a little bit for you. A little bit, just a tiny little bit. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> Can you hear that all right? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. You're, you're all those speakers that you plugged in were doing their job. They're oh, wonderful. It's all in the right time. What a difference, they mate. I can't wait to get down there tomorrow morning, Simon. No, no. Uh, if, you, if you do it, uh, well, it's not next year now, is it? It's this year. We'll have to, uh, we'll well, have to make a family trip of it. Yeah, the carol service, yes. It's, uh, <laughs> announcements will be made before it happens. Don't worry. That's right. I saw a lot of good old things on for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, love to you and your family there. Yes, yeah, all the best for uh, 2011. Happy New Year, happy Simon. New, happy New Year. I, I hesitate to wish you a prosperous one, because I don't think anyone's going to have one this year. Uh, but we're not hey, worried about that point. anyway. We're not worried about cash. We want yeah. happiness. That's what we want, happiness, Simon. OK, then, Chris. Happy New Year. Bye-bye, Simon. Bye. See you, Callum. Shania. Bye. Bye, you two. Bye. There we are. Uh, Simon and his family there in... Um, I was going to say New York. They're not on the Isle of Wight. Um, Blakey says... Of course you're good enough to be LBC. You are joking. You're joking. I'm not that good. At, I wouldn't be good at LBC because I, I wouldn't class myself as a very... <laughs> I actually don't class myself as a very intelligent person. You know, f <coughs> following politics, this, that and the other. I know bits about what I know about and that's it really. Um, anyway, nice to have Blakey with us this afternoon as well. No doubt he'll be coming along on Wednesday night next week and hogging the stage as usual, wouldn't you? Eh? Um, Paul says, is there just six of us now? Uh, at the moment, yes, I'm afraid. Um, uh, as well as my show, United Kingdom Talk, here on United Kingdom Radio, we have some other presenters and we've had a few people who have um, uh, left or are having a bit of a holiday at the moment, so they won't be back for a while. So I'm afraid now there is only five of us on the radio side of things and one doing the um, doing the video on its own. Um, still on the radio, and I tell you when these people, you can get all their podcasts at any time or listen live by simply going to unitedkingdomradio.co.uk. Now, you can hear Paul Edwards. Um, he is on Sunday nights live between five... No. Oh, I, I always get this wrong. Between 7pm and 9 o'clock UK time on Sunday nights. OK, Paul Edwards. Uh, Stacey White from USA, Oklahoma. He's a policeman, and you may have seen him on a BBC TV programme um, about the... Oh, what's it called now? Oh, it's gone right out of my head. Um, the children who go to other countries because they're naughty and they try and make them good. Uh, the world's worst teenagers, something like that. Anyway, Stacey White was, is with us on Sunday afternoons between 5pm and 6pm UK time. Suko, she's in New York. She is on 
um, Sunday afternoons uh, between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. UK time. Tom Harris, he's with us on Saturday afternoons. In fact, directly after me on Saturday afternoons uh, between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. UK time. Uh, there's me. I'm on uh, between uh, 11 p.m. Uh, sorry, 11 a.m. and 12 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings between uh, 11 and 12. Okay, Tuesday and Thursday mornings. And also on Saturday afternoons between 3 and 4 p.m. in the afternoon, all UK time. We also have Lee Mills. <coughs> Lee Mills does not appear on the audio stream at the moment, but you can find him on the video stream. Uh, and that is on Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. UK time uh, by going to United Kingdom Radio. Dot co dot uk. Now, I'm nearly out of time and I'm a bit disappointed with myself because I haven't had time to get every, everything in that I wanted to get in today. I've got a parcel here uh, from Suco to open and some more emails, including a long one from uh, Fag Ashley, which I'll have to do on um, Tuesday, after, Tuesday morning now at 11 o'clock UK time. All right. Um, Ian Duff <coughs> wishes everyone a happy new year. Thank you, Ian. Happy new year to you as well. And finally, from uh, Anthony, who said, Home cinema is one of my technical hobbies. Bushcraft and the outdoors being some other escapes. He's also got Star Trek Special Edition box sets. Ooh, look good on a big screen. I'm going now. Um, coming up after me on this Saturday afternoon at four o'clock is Tom Harris. Don't forget my email address. Join me at any time. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. See you on Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock. Have a good Saturday afternoon. Bye-bye now.